2001 P. North Carolina State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez, most collectors should have no trouble finding a 2001 P. North Carolina Quarter, as the U.S. Mint struck over 627 million examples for circulation. The typical example from circulation will have some noticeable wear but still be in uncirculated grades, with most examples still having luster. Only in MS69 grade or higher are they difficult to find. This specimen was sold for $2,137.50 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 2006 D. North Dakota State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2006 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2006 D quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,500. This specimen fetched a sum of $2,799 with buyer's fee. Number 5. 2009 P. American Samoa Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. The 2009 American Samoa Quarters were officially released by the U.S. Mint on July 27, 2009. The official ceremony for the American Samoa Quarters release took place on September 4, 2009. The coins came in very nice quality and examples up to about MS66 condition can be easily obtained. In MS67 condition they appear to be scarcer but yet easily affordable at a small premium. In MS68 condition they are very scarce with few examples known. This quarter ended up selling for $3,375 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 2002 D. Ohio State Quarter. Graded as MS69 by NGC. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2002 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2002 D quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $4,000. This superb gem fetched a sum of $3,768.75 with buyer's fee. Number 3. 2002 D Indiana State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. Highlighted on the coin is an image of a race car superimposed on an outline of the state, and 19 stars which signifies that the state was the 19th admitted into the Union. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a state quarter from 2002 in circulated condition is worth between 30 cents and 40 cents. However, on the open market 2002 D quarters in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $4,500. This specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 2004 P. Texas State Quarter. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. It highlights an outline of the state with a star superimposed on the outline and the inscription, the Lone Star State. The lariat that encircles the design is symbolic of the cattle and cowboy history of Texas as well as the frontier spirit that tamed the land. As of November 2023 PCGS reported 107 specimens in MS 68 grade with guiding price of $100 with just single finer this specimen in MS-69 grade. It was sold for $6,750 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1999 S. Proof Delaware State Quarter. Graded as PR-70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. The highest grade available. The reverse design shows Caesar Rodney's historic horseback ride in 1776 to cast his vote in favor of Delaware signing the Declaration of Independence. According to PCGS, in 1999 the Mint struck Delaware proof quarters in a clad version and a 90% silver version. The 1999's Delaware proof silver quarters had a significantly lower mintage than that of the clads. Therefore, making the silver version scarcer as well as more expensive. In PR67 to about PR69 deep cameo the 1999's Delaware proof silver quarters are common. However, in PR70 deep cameo condition they are scarce and command a significant premium over PR69 deep cameo prices. If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.